David, I've got a question for you. I bought myself an Any Tone 878 radio. I haven't got an idea how to program it. You got any ideas? I think I can help you a little bit. It, um, to set the computer up first, probably, to install the CPS software. You download the CPS software and visit the... Hey David, I want to build myself a 40 metre dipole. How long have the wires got to be? 7.15 meg. Yeah, I can probably work that out for you. One moment. Yep, you'll need a piece of wire 65.45 feet long. That's 19. David, my friend, what the heck's a diode? Yeah, I think I can help you there. A diode is a semiconductor device that allows current to flow in one direction only. Diodes are commonly used in power supplies to convert voltage. David, I've been listening to the radio and I've heard all these Q codes. What are they all about? Oh, right. Q codes, yes. There's hundreds of them, mainly used in Morse code. Q codes are a, a standardised form of three-letter codes used in radio communication. Hiya, David. Thinking about building myself a Morse key. Any idea how I'll go about it? Well, first of all, you need a base, about four by six, a lever, some sort of metal, or sturdy plastic about six inches long as the key lever. Contact point. That's really helpful, David. Thanks a lot. Where are you getting all this information from, by the way? Chat GBT saves my bacon every day I use it. It gives you the formulas, sizes. It's free to use and absolutely excellent for amateur radio operators who need lengths and formulas um, for particular lengths. So 40 metres, as we've discussed, um, is an exact length of wire. It'll give you where the ballums go, where the insulators go. It tells you absolutely everything you need and explains the formulas in case you want to learn how to do it from chatbot. So obviously what we're talking about is a piece of software on the internet that's available called ChatGPT, which is an AI system. And it is very, very, very intelligent and very good most of the time. It is, however, very, very useful and very good for radio amateurs. Uh, it'll give you lots of answers that you might spend hours digging for otherwise. OK, now let's see what ChatGPT can do. And who better to tell us about ChatGPT than ChatGPT itself? So the response we get from asking ChatGPT what it can do for me, it tells me that it can assist me in a wide variety of tasks and areas. And it gives me a detailed breakdown of what it can do for me. It can answer questions, provide detailed explanations and answers to questions on a wide range of topics, including amateur radio. It also offers research assistance, where it will summarise information from multiple sources, offer insights on specific topics and help with academic research. It also offers learning tools, where it will offer explanations on complex concepts, solve problems and provide study tips. It also helps with writing and content creation, where it assists with drafting, editing and creative writing. It offers help with professional development, where it will help write resume and cover letters. It will give you career advice and it will help with, with assisting with writing business reports and presentations. It offers personal assistance, planning and organisation, life advice on things like relationships and other life challenges, language learning, technical assistance. Now, this is where it could come in really useful for amateur radio use. It helps with programming and coding and debugging uh, and explaining program concepts. It offers technical supports, 
on common technical issues. Entertainment and creativity is another area that can help, with recommendations on suggested books, movies, TV shows. So maybe you want to watch a film that involves amateur radio. It helps with uh, games and quizzes. Engage in trivia, quizzes and other interactive games. Maybe it could write a quiz based on amateur radio. Health and wellness offers you general advice and exercise plans. And who couldn't do some do with some help with their health and wellness? And also custom requests, such as custom tools and calculations, where it can create custom tools, perform calculations and analyse data as needed. And also will help you with pers personalised content where it will generate content tailored to your specific needs and interests. So yes, it could be helpful for amateur radio. Let's, let's dive a bit deeper into that. So what if you wanted to build a 40 meter dipole? What length of wire would you need for a 40 meter dipole? So let's ask ChatGPT. And here we go. It gives you all the calculations and all the information you need about building a 40 meter dipole. And it ends up telling you that you need approximately 21.43 meters of wire for the entire antenna, each side of the dipole being about 10.72 meters long. Very useful. What about if you want to build a four to one balance? Well, building a four to one balance, again, it gives you all the information you need from the materials that you need, what tools you need, steps to go through, all about the primary windings, how to connect the windings, winding the secondary windings, assembly and soldering, securing the wires, testing the ballon, and it gives you a diagram. Of course, as with anything, you should always test it before you use it. What about if you want to use the 80 meter band and you need to know what the propagation is going to be like today? Well, ChatGPT can give you the propagation for any of the bands um, based on information that it gathers off of the internet. All amateur radio operators like to watch films about amateur radio. So what if you like to watch a film based on amateur radio? So ask ChatGPT and it will give you a list, including frequency, contact, the vast of night, American graffiti, Independence Day, and the Brave Little Toaster. And as it says, these films not only showcase the technical aspects of amateur radio, but also highlights its role in storytelling. What about if you were out on a special event station and you needed to know the UK band plan for the 15 metre band or any band? Well, ask ChatGPT and it will give you the entire band plan telling you what areas of the band you can and can't use and what powers you can use. Of course, you could always ask it what is probably the best amateur radio club in North Wales. And of course, it's bound to answer the Dragon Amateur Radio Club. And it will give you some information about it. Of course, you can't always believe what Chat GPT says. And it's worth checking what it says. Because in this case, it says that the Chat... Because in this case, it says that the Dragon's Amateur Radio Club is based in Wrexham. Which, of course, it's not. It's based on Anglesey. Chat GPT that I've been using is the free version, which is very, very good. However, there are paid versions available as well, which give you extra benefits and extra features. Um, they're not expensive and may be worth considering. 
Of course, you can also use ChatGPT on your phone, which is very useful. Imagine being out on a special event station and you need some information. Um, just pick up your phone, whether you've got an Android phone or indeed an Apple iOS phone or tablet. And you can access ChatGPT through either. You can also use an Android watch or an Apple watch. So there's no need never to have ChatGPT. So the question is, is ChatGPT useful for amateur radio? Well, I believe the answer is yes. What do you think? Maybe leave a comment let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.